Hello. Hello, peeps. Hello, hello, and hello. Hello, hello, and hello. Diane and Randall Bro here. Yes, we are. Uh, coming to you live from the beautiful town of Prescott, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Pickle Lady Live. A mile high of yeah. the mountains. Just um, getting back from Los Angeles. Went had a, right. a nice little time with our with our kiddos. That's right. Uh, celebrating our daughter's engagement. Uh, yes, so, yes, so good shout time. Shout out to Addie and Jake. Yes. Cheers to Addie Cheers and to Jake. Addie. We can't wait for the big day. Uh, every time we, we, we go to L.A., we, we feel compelled to tell our story. There's always something, something interesting crazy. that happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this time, there's nothing like driving almost seven hours. And you're tired, and you jump in a nice hot tub, and you just want to relax and soak. And there's no body wash no in body the Airbnb. Wash. So I'm like, well, there must be a dreadful mistake. Yes. Surely they, it's got to be under the cabinet. It's yeah. got to be no body wash anywhere in yeah. any of the bathrooms. Yeah. So I reach out to our Airbnb fellow and I say, hey, any idea where the body wash is? Oh, we don't have any. You can go to the store and buy it. Yeah, you got to buy your own body wash. And then, you know, re we'll reimburse you. Okay, well, not going to help me at midnight. Don't want to hop <laughs> out the tub and go get the body wash. Yeah. Anyway, I used hand soap. That was an interesting experience yeah. as well. It worked, but anyway, the Both point is, so when I, yeah, yeah. when I get to the store the next morning, I go down the aisle while the, the body washes, and it's all behind glass yeah. and locked. It's locked a locked in. case. Yeah. Now, I've seen this in other areas for, you know, medication, yeah. allergy medication, yeah. and this, that, and that. Not body wash. So I'm standing there like a fish out of water. I'm like, how do I obtain this elusive body wash? Surely there's a way for me to get this. And uh, a fellow Los Angelian, Los mm. Angeloan, how do you say it? I don't know. Anyway, he says, oh, you have to press the button and get help for that. And I said, get help to get body wash? Yeah. I mean, what crazy, it's not the bath crystals that I understand is a thing. But body wash, body wash. apparently in Los Angeles, it's a heavily stolen item. Yeah. So uh, I did not wait for that. I noticed that on the side of it, there wasn't a protection. So I just slid my, my arm behind it and grabbed what I wanted <laughs> and left. But the point is, is that if you come here to Prescott, we're not going to have stuff like that behind yeah. glass. It's your, yeah. I never seen anything like it. Yeah. Everything in this entire grocery store was behind glass. Behind glass. It's uh, kind of a sad way to live your life, uh, personally is what I think, but hey, to each his own. Yeah. Uh, I took matters into my own hands and grabbed my own body wash. Yeah, I hope they don't uh, they come, come and get you. I your, know. Your, uh, well, you well I, pay I paid for it. Yeah, you I did follow the it. process. Correct, <laughs> although from what I understand, if I had left with it, I would have been okay with that. Yeah, 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 so that, yeah, <laughs> so that, yeah, our understanding is the reason why they had to do this is if you go into a drugstore or wherever, and you steal something that's less than like nine hundred fifty dollars. That's right. Uh, as long as you're not armed, they're, they're not going to prosecute you. Yeah. So I. So could've... people do it. So they yeah. put everything behind glass. I don't know if you can go into a restaurant and have a meal for less than nine hundred fifty dollars and just walk <laughs> out. Yeah. I don't know if you can do that, but it's it's funny because these things kind of build on one another. Right. Uh, last year, we were in L.A. and they had all of the blackouts. So the blackouts hit right when they were announcing that it was going to be mandatory by I don't know, 2035 or whatever it is, that all cars on the road are going to have to be electric cars. And I'm thinking, okay, so you can't provide electricity for what you have already. If we had a bunch of electric cars, because they have a lot of electric cars, I'm thinking, you know, what this party needs right now is about 50,000 cars that have run out of juice in random during places a, during, a during the blackout. And people Everybody's are really Everybody's going to be that. stuck on the roads. Yeah. And what I've heard, too, is uh, some people who they are saying, you know, they, they say during blackout time, uh, please don't charge your cars up overnight. Yeah. So how do you get to work? I don't know. I don't understand. It all. Yeah. It's a whole other conundrum to me. I just was fascinated by lockdown body wash. Yeah, so, I couldn't so, get over that. Yeah, so so first, the, you know, with COVID, you can't get toilet paper. So that means body <laughs> wash is at a premium, if you know. Yeah. That. The body wash, by the way, was very uh, exorbitant. It was expensive. $11.99 yeah, that's for a, a lot, little bottle. Little, little tiny little bottle. bottle. I yeah. Said, wow. So you got <laughs> a city full of people who are broiling in the summer. <laughs> they have no electricity, can't put on their 
uh, their AC. AC, and then they can't use body wash, yeah. so everyone's going to stink. I, well, it just, you can use body wash. You just have to be patient and wait for And help. wait, I guess. You can't run in and buy some. Yeah. yeah I, it's a process. Well, anyway, you, you, you reach the point where <laughs> if you're somewhere, maybe you're in L.A., maybe you're someplace else, maybe you've been thinking about maybe moving on. There's a, a phenomenon called the boiled frog, and I don't know if this is true, but they say if you put a frog in a pan of water and you and you heat him up, he won't jump out if you mm -hmm. heat him slowly. You'll be able to boil the frog. The frog will stand because it gets hot slowly and he gets used to it. And that's kind of how, you know, you're living in L.A., you're used to the, you know, the the black. It, 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 step by step, you get used to things and you become you numb to them. You get more accepting and numb yeah. to everything that continues to happen that nothing shocks you anymore. Yeah, until you have a body wash moment. Until and then it's kind of like, I, I can't believe, all right, that's it. I kind of, that's the last <laughs> straw. You kind of hit your limit. So, so I think at the Airbnb, they don't provide a uh, body wash because people take it. People take it. And it's yeah. costly for them. And I get yeah. all that, you yeah. know, but yeah. not helpful when yeah. I wanted to. So if, if you've had a body wash moment, you know, <laughs> where uh, you, you've kind of, wherever enough you are. Enough is enough. And it's been getting worse and it's getting worse. When you hit that body wash moment, let us know what your body wash moment was. What was the last straw? It's like, no, nah, I really do have to get out. I got to get out. No matter where you live, yeah. whether it's California, Washington, Oregon, anywhere, New yeah. Jersey. Uh, yeah, we, the, the typical exodus states. Yeah. yeah. So you got Cal the exodus states now, I guess, are uh, California, Oregon. Washington, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. uh, Colorado, I think yes. is now yes. kind of become an exodus. So if, if you come from one of those places, what was your last straw? We'd like to hear. Yeah, I do oh. want to hear what your yeah. last straw what was. What was your last straw? Uh, and I can assure you, if you move here, none of these things will happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> I can go at any time, any day, uh, at night or day yeah. and grab myself a nice thing of Body wash yeah, for body maybe five ninety nine, yeah. and walk out the store and pay yeah. for it, and, and and not have to be waited on People for that. People smell better here, I think. They do. It doesn't it's, cost so much to have body wash. It's helpful. It's helpful. It's helpful. Body, it, wash, body is wash is a good thing. Is a good thing. Yeah. That's you know people stinking. That's uh, you got to get them. <laughs> You got to get people clean. That's the first step towards civilization. That's right. I, you know, that's a Absolutely. So, um, you know, again, let's not send any comments our way. We're just <laughs> stating the facts. I'm stating my own personal experience. And having some fun. And having some fun. I personally think it's a little outrageous that I have to get assistance to yeah. get body wash off a shelf. Maybe other people are perfectly fine with that. I'm entitled to my opinion. <laughs> That's right. So please don't shoot the messenger. Don't I'm just me. kind of expressing my little opinion. <laughs> Take with it what you want. Yeah, I'll plug upstairs. It sounds like she's not too happy about this topic, too. Right. Let's finish up. So All right, that's it. If you want tips, the place to go is pickle411.com. There's our free information site. Whether you're a buyer or seller somewhere in between, there is information there that will inform, astound, delight, and entertain and you. And maybe irritate you. I don't maybe know. Irritate it might irritate you, yeah. but... You know, take a bath with some body wash first. That's right. Yeah. Maybe with somebody else too. I mean, with might, someone else might make it better. I well, you know. know, you share the cost. You, you, share, the you cost. share the cost <laughs> of that eleven dollar small bottle of body wash. All right, my friends, that's all. That's Have it. Have a great rest of your day. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye. Bye.